biblical history as divided by God into dispensations, divine, defined periods of ages to which God has allotted a lot of distinctive the administrative the principalities. Principles. Huh? So pretty much it deals with uh, with the no, most high uh, setting up a specific uh, yeah. a specific time schedule, man. Sure. A specific time schedule, man. I'm All right, that's it. Was the blue letter Bible. I wanted to get that definition in, but you know, the Lord had to like find it. But that was enough, man. So we dealing with the dispensation of of, of the Al Bashir Al Shab. All right, and that dispensation that deals with the Lord um, having a set schedule. All right, to which things going to uh, uh, take time. All right, even with, even for little brothers waking up, man. All right, you had it, you know, uh, pretty much the '60s. All right, uh, Abu Bakr woke up. All right, and uh, you know, it's getting brothers together pursuing a mic. Malachi the fourth chapter. All right, now I say all the way into this time that we are now, which is pretty much brothers waking up through the four corners, understanding the agenda of the uh, heavenly Father. And understand the, the agenda of Esau, man. Do it. You ain't got to say it. Stop. Yeah. Did you want to stop? All right, go ahead. Continue to do that. All right. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 4, verse 38. Then asked her, I and said, O Lord, that bears rule, even we all are full of impenity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They said, and for our sakes, her adventure is, it is that the floors of the righteous are not filled because of sins of them that dwell upon the earth. So he answered me and said, go thy way to a woman with child and ask of her when she have fulfilled her nine months. If her womb may keep the birth any longer within her. Verse 41, then I said, no, Lord, that can she not. And he said unto me, In the grave, the chambers of the souls are like the womb of a woman. For for like as a woman that travaileth maketh haste to escape the necessity of the travail, even so do these places haste to deliver those things that are committed unto them. Right. I had a Psalms 140. Yeah, yeah, give me Psalms 140. Because we read earlier, you know what I mean, if your brothers pay attention to the uh, the plan of Esau, like I said, I looked up that greater plea, greater uh, greater Israel plan, all right, and I said that deal with Esau pretty much, what he's, what he's over there for, what he assassinated that that, uh, that Iranian um, Iranian general for is pretty much to uh, pretty much make a way to get up in there, you know what I mean? Because he already know that they're going to retaliate back, you know what I'm saying, when you look at the, uh, the interviews and the press conferences. He already know that they're gonna retaliate back because that he was a, that Iranian general. He was like, he was like a a, 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 a very a, a, a very a, very good, he's skillful. He was right. skillful he's, in his heart, right? That's the what that's what I'm trying to say. Commander, right? You know what I mean? And like, say that's like you taking out a quarterback on a, a football team. You know what I mean? It's like you fuck up. You know what I mean? With like the rotation, and you strike the uh, the shepherd, the sheep shall scatter. Exactly. That's in the, that's in the scripture too. Exactly right. But that's pretty much what you saw about the Gary do. Now, when you watch other like other press conferences, Donald Trump and all that was talking about like, oh, we're we're here for peace and uh, yada yada yada. And we're here. We're not here to you know. And what the scripture says, words are smoother than butter, but words in his heart. Exactly, and that's the scripture we're looking right now. Because this is what we're talking about. You have to once you understand your enemy. You know what I mean? You understand. You understand his intentions. Once you get that down pat, you understand what he's after. You know what I'm saying? We understand what Esau is after. He's a man. That that's uh that's that that wants blood and he ain't gonna stop in the Hebrew scripture. Are oh, the Psalms one forty and one? Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischief in their heart uh -huh. continually, or they gather together for war. And that's Esau, man. He he um, and brothers, we went over that um when, uh, the, the NATO how NATO got established, and then when you look up uh, when you look up son uh, um. That, uh, 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 Philip of Macedon, uh, Alexander's father, he he had he already set that up pretty much back then, but it was it was just different. He set up something called the uh, the League of uh, League of Corinth, and the League of Corinth was they they established it the same way NATO established uh, NATO got established. When you when you got enemies, all right, let's say you in the territory, you got enemies, right? What do you what you see that that just bring it down to a lower level? What do Jake do? If you got if you a part of the street, you can't beat the next street or whatever, you get more more help. So you get the next street to, you know what I mean, help you out. That's what Esau is doing, man. He get, uh, uh, that's how NATO That's how NATO got established. They got established was to combat Russia, man, the, uh, the Soviet Union, because they was too strong. And then, like I said, we looked up Philip of Macedon. He, he established uh, the League of Corinth to um, combat um, uh, Darius and the Medes, man. 
Like I said, bring this back though. Right? Psalms 140 and 1, deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man, preserve me from the violent man, yep. which imagine mischiefs in their heart continually or they gather together for war. So that's now you know the reason why he's over there. He, he's over there for war. And too, when you look up, um, when you look up, uh, give me that, uh, anybody know what that's at? Daniel. Uh, it's uh, it's at the step of the uh, the step of the devil. Yeah, the devil's a devil, man. You know, and, and and that's what Esau's gonna do. He's gonna use his uh, deception, his witchcraft. I don't right, want to talk uh, about the statue. Uh, all right, we want seven, peace. Seven, seven, we yeah, want yeah, peace. Yeah, yeah. We don't want any violence. All right. See, Esau like to throw the rock and then hide his hand. And then he went, oh, I ran there being aggressive towards yep, us. Yep, but yeah. you, you started it. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to prevent war, not start a war. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. man. Yeah, that ain't yeah. him, man. Because if you, if you. If you trying to, if you if you over there for peace and all that or whatever, like why you even got they got something called an embassy. An embassy is just pretty much a building that that holds troops and stuff like that over there to um huh. to uh, to combat like you know. It's what like I mean? a garrison. Yeah, it's like it's a, it's that, that's exactly like Esau, what it is. Esau doing righteousness or, or, or Esau wanting uh, peace would be a sin, man. Yep, he, ain't, he ain't like he ain't come like that. His, like we just read it. He continually got his war. That Esau, most I designed Esau to be a man of war. Man. I believe I, this, it said that Esau been in war ninety two percent of his time, being since uh seventeen seventy six. Yeah, since yeah. established, he been at war ninety two percent of the time. Yep, yep. And, you can, and, and, and most of that war was over people's uh, territories. Man. Yeah. That's why our Lord said, uh, pretty much Reverend paraphrasing, you, you're not supposed to covet. Huh. You know what I mean, you look at the Michael word covet. Too. It means uh, to like pretty much. To want, uh, you know what I mean? To want somebody's shit, you know what I mean? That, that's why I love it. Something that someone else has. Exactly, man. Yeah, covet, you know what I mean? C-O-B-E-T. That's why the scriptures say he covet fields and take them by violence. Micah 2. Micah 2. Micah 2. Micah 2. Before you get the one in Micah, no, grab the one in Micah and say get the one in Micah. Yeah, he didn't want to know Michael's shit. Cause that, that dude, Esau, man, he's not going to stop it. That's something that Jake got to understand. Like, Because like I said, Jake keep thinking that Esau is going to eventually, you know, he's going to eventually chill out. You know what I mean? Like, no, he's going to keep being the devil because the most I design that way. Can I say something? Because it's, it's, it's a spirit movie when you sit up there and said he's going to continue. Like with, with Alexander the Great, if that devil wouldn't have got sick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he would have kept it. He would have still been doing the same shit, man. Them dudes, man, go ahead. That's why the Lord got to take Esau out of power yeah. in order for the kingdom to come. Because Esau and the kingdom in power, yeah. it ain't going to be a kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So like your brother, just imagine Esau just living. That's why the Lord has to, after Esau served his thousand years of captivity, the Lord got to exterminate him. Yeah. The, 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 the kingdom ain't going to be, yeah. he, he, he got to go. He, 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 he keep trying to do that in the kingdom. He trying to fight with us in the kingdom. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, this is Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Uh -huh. But the morning is light, they practice it because it's in the power of their hand. Now, when it said when the morning is light, they practice it. You know what I mean? In other words, when it's daytime, so-called white man Esau, he's he's writing legislation on how to uh you know how to uh, you know restrict movement and how to control people down better, down man. Yeah. And you see it all yeah, the time, man. Like I said, when you when you look at the the, uh, the acts and the legislation that's being passed, it ain't to better you. You know what I mean? It ain't to get you in a better place. Uh, uh, further your wellness in life. It's actually to uh, um, take oppress you. Yeah. You said what? Take your rights away. Yeah, take your rights away. Oppress you. And you gonna ultimately, like I said, you gonna end up with that new world order is gonna be you not being able to do nothing. Because that's what when you look at uh, Revelation 13 chapter, they say it calls all uh, 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 both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, receive the mark. And like I said, he wants to control your every movement. But uh, uh, keep going there. Right? All right, verse two. It said, and they covet fields and take them by violence. Right, what we were just talking about. They covet fields and take them by violence, man. When you even study, which we about to get into it real quick. When you study, like I said, the, the previous empires, like the Roman Empire, all of them, all them Edomites, the Idumians, they was called back uh, during that time. They're like the Greeks. They was all going to war for other people's lands, man. And that 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 way of uh, Esau doing things hasn't changed, man. Esau is still doing that, like I said. That's why we talking about the Iranian uh, situation. He's still doing that, man. You want to say something else? I was just on the, the, the add to the point, like when you go into Maccabees, when it talks about like how um. Antiochus went to fight for to Ptolemy for his land. You know what I mean? Like so, they fight against each other, amongst mm -hmm. each other for the shit. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's how you. And that's why the scriptures in Job nine and twenty four. It said, "If not, who is he?" Basically, yeah. hey, yeah. If, if we can play the process of elimination. That's how you know that Esau, the so called white man, is Esau yeah. because yeah. of his actions, yeah, exactly. his characteristics. It's this, it's this, man. Like the said, the process of elimination. Esau. 
that's why he keep trying to deny. He fits. He fits that person, man. You the you the you go back to book of Genesis and say you a man of the field. You know what I mean? We you, you that devil. Vagabond. Yeah, vagabond. You the you the you the devil, bro. Uh, hey, what the action like here, bro? What are you still trying to say? All the, all the Edomites or the uh, uh, Arabs, 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 man. Oh, the Arabs. Arabs. Yeah, Ishmaelites, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Even Ishmael, they know that. They they uh, know they they know they Ishmael. Like right. I got an article on four that I was reading a couple days ago. That Esau Esau know he Esau, bro. You know what I mean? He just trying to deny it, man. Because when you read the uh, the Bible dictionary, it say the Edomites are the only people uh, without. Uh, without uh, 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 heritage, uh, culture. No, no, without. Uh, uh, Forgiveness like, for sin, right? He said, well, I, oh, well, they can't be forgiven, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like you said, when you do the definition uh, in the Bible, the, 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 uh, the, the Zion of Van Bible Dictionary, they're the only people that can't get no redemption from the Most High. And I'll say something real quick before you continue. That, I think the elder in um, Alabama, he was saying, like, when you go into, like you said, a vagabond and a fugitive, like, a fugitive, he was saying, like, Esau, he's never going to admit to that. A fugitive, like, like, like right now, if I had a warrant and, and Esau wrote up, I'm not going to try to tell them my... True exactly. identity, you know what I mean? So why would right? Because it's mm -hmm. gonna come with repercussions. Mm -hmm. He don't want that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like he don't want he, he wanna be everything but what he truly is. Yep. It's Proverbs chapter four, verse seventeen. It says, For they eat so like verse sixteen, for they sleep not except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Esau. Esau, you know, he up at all times of the night, probably snoring lines, just thinking about how he could just call someone. Hey, hey, because hey, that's why the scriptures say through their policy. All right, hey, Esau uses his covenants and his agreements to cause craft to prosper, man. Because at the end, all right, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be that you fall and he come up, man. That, that, that was a beautiful scripture, Brother Graham, man. I got one. This dude, this dude ain't going to stop, man. But, you know, we're going to show you in some brief history and, and a book of uh, Daniel. And you remember that Daniel? Picard. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel chapter 7, verse 7. Right from the top, right from the top. Daniel chapter 7, verse 1. In the first year of Belshazzar, Shazar, king of Babylon, right. Daniel had... Right. A dream and yeah. visions of his head upon his bed. Then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. And so, so Daniel had a vision. Right, pay attention. Daniel had a vision. All right, and he, and he visions was kingdoms. All right, but he described them as beasts, man. Verse two. Daniel spake and said, "I saw in my vision by night, and behold." The four winds of the heaven drove upon the great sea, and the four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another. All right, bring it back. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heaven drove upon the great sea. And four What's great. That, that sea is the Mediterranean Sea, go ahead. Represents it, and four great beasts came up from the sea. All right, so remember, Dan got the vision. Four great beasts. All right, let's let's see. Let's go into, go into what he's talking about. Diverse one from another. Right. So these kingdoms, they was gonna be diverse. They was gonna be different. Like, and then when you go when you go further down to the Roman Empire, we ain't gonna go into that. Cause that's another topic. The reason why that was in particular different is because of the Senate. You know what I mean? The Senate. Because them other, the mother, uh, the other kingdoms, they had what you call like a, a, a monarchy uh, uh, system, to where you know a king was sort of set up. It wasn't elected. The king wasn't elected. It was just set up, and then they would have an heir. The heir is your son. Then if you, if you had a son, if you didn't have a son, it either be like you know like a close relative, you know what I mean, somebody that the king picked. Or like your daughter. Was, no, 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 your daughter would marry. Right, you know what I mean, something like that. Your daughter, if you married your daughter, and then you know, but usually it's like a close relative. They don't have like a son. But what changed that was the Roman Empire when they when they came up with the Senate and the Republic, and then they, they started electing uh, their democracy. Yeah, their democracy. Same thing with America. You know what I mean? But keep going. Now. They say the first was like a lion, 
and had eagle's wings. Yeah, the first is like a lion. That first beast is the um, what's the, uh, the, uh, the no, the first beast, the Babylon, uh, Babylonian, because right? the Assyrian, uh, yeah, the wings, yeah, the wings, the Assyrian, because the Assyrians with the wings on the back of the uh, the lion. Go ahead. It say, and it say, I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked, mm -hmm. and it was.